Next video we're going to show uh, from your phone is going to be on Google Slides. So Google Slides is a presentation software, much like Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, and a lot of schools will use this for doing presentations. If we're going to a project-based learning system, then we're probably going to be doing some presentations where students can, can create larger projects in slides and then submit them to classes. Uh, so again, you're going to want to have downloaded that Google Slides app. I'm just going to open that up. And so on here, again, you have uh, your options here. And down at the bottom, you'll see there's that create new one. Or you can open one of the ones that you've recently had open, if you've had any opened. So I'm just going to open a blank one here that I've already had open. Now, this screen becomes very condensed when you're trying to work on your phone. So if you can get it to rotate, it'll probably work a little bit better. I'm hoping that the screen recording won't mess up at this point. Uh, but if you rotate your screen, it gives you a more of a, a view that you're used to seeing on your computer when working on slides. So there is much less functionality in slides on your phone than there would be on the computer. Slides is a very dynamic program, and you can use it for doing things like, uh, you know, animations, and you can put in a lot of stuff, uh, you know, transitions from slide to slide. Uh, it doesn't let you do this in this app, <clears throat> but it will let you add in pictures and do your text and all that stuff, uh, add multiple slides. So I'm just going to quickly go over where some of those things are found. So in order to edit the text, you got to double tap on it, uh, and then you can type in there. So you can add in your title, you can add in your subtitle. Okay, now it's pretty plain looking there, so you can do some stuff to that background. Uh, just go over the menus at the top. So again, you've got your share up on the top right, uh, your comments, and then you've got your add. So in order to add an image, it's not quite as easy as it is uh, on the computer, because normally you'd be able to go to Google Images and find some images, preferably copyright free, that you can use there. Uh, but you can also insert other things and shapes and that. So if you want to insert an image, the image really needs to be either saved on your Google Drive or saved on your phone. So it would be good if you knew the images you want and went ahead and, and saved them first or took the pictures off your phone, which of course would not be uh, subject to any copyright issues. Uh, and you can insert more text boxes in that here as well. I'm just going to show you how to insert an image. Uh, so I'm going to go get an image. And I'm going to go get that from Google Images. I'm going to open up Chrome, I'm going to go to Google Images, and then I'll search for something. Find the image that I want to put in as my background. Okay, and then I'm going to download that image. So once I download that image, then it's on my phone. So I'm going to go back into Slides, go back into my presentation. And I'm going to go into the insert image. And I'm going to go from photos. OK, and now that takes me into my downloads folder because that was what I was testing it on. But you can go to different folders. So you can go to your drive and you can get stuff if you have stuff saved already on your drive or in your photos. Or you can go to your camera roll, uh, to your SD card, different spots. So I've got that image there. And I'm going to put that in there. And now, of course, the common problem that my students have is when they put in an image, it covers over their text, and they want to know how you can get it behind the text. So to do that, once you click on the image, you'll see a menu shows up. You click on the three dots, and you're going to go send to back, and that'll put it in behind. Still pretty bright, uh, so if I wanted to make that text stand out some more, I can click on the little plus minus button down at the bottom, which allows me to adjust some of the things that are there, and I can adjust that transparency. And then that will make it seem uh, a little more visible, make the text a little more visible. And you can play around. There's some more buttons down there, like the crop button, which we use commonly to crop images out when we want to take things out of them. And then if you need to add another slide, there's a little plus button there over on the left-hand side. That allows you to add in another slide. So if we wanted to add in another 
another slide and go on with their presentation. We can add that in there. And then again, you can go in and you can add in your images. You can add in more text. You can add in tables. You can do all that stuff that you'd normally do on slides. It's mostly just a little more difficult because you're working on the smaller workspace. And of course, because you can't do the animations, transitions that really make PowerPoints and slides presentations uh, stand out. Uh, but difficult times call for difficult measures.